Good morning. Happy Tuesday. How is everyone? I've got my coffee because my hands are freezing, but um, it's time to get real. So I think I told you this yesterday, but I can't remember. I finished my book for September. So now that is two books, one in August, one in September that I've finished reading. Usually I'll start a book five, page in, five pages in, maybe two chapters. I'm done. I'm over it. So it's kind of like most of us, it's kind of like most of us with our diet and exercise. We like go a week and then we're done. That's how I am with reading. And so I'm really excited and giving myself some props for finishing two books. The first one was okay. That was the something about your cheese, who moved my cheese. But this one, I really like the Miracle Morning. And so that's by uh, Hal Elrod. And he talked about incorporating the lifesavers into your morning routine, like making them your morning routine. And so I started that. So I read the book and I've always been a morning person. You guys know that. And I had a pretty good morning routine, but not really other than the exercise portion of it. It wasn't really a personal growth morning routine. And so that's kind of the journey I'm on right now is developing some per personal growth habits so that I was kind of stale, stagnant for a long time. And now I'm trying to break out of that and really create, create, not wait for, but create success in all areas of my life. And so, so I started these lifesavers. I started yesterday morning actually, and I did like a really accelerated version. And today I took about, I'd say 30 minutes or so. I got up at 4.30 and got a few things done, like emptied the dishwasher and brushed my teeth and uh, fed the animals, started the laundry, that kind of stuff. And then I sat on my couch while well, I was, after I kind of uh, wake, woke up a little bit and did the savers, the silence, the affirmations, the visualization, the reading and the scribing, which is that fancy word for writing. And then I saved the E in savers, the exercise for the last thing. And so it started with maybe a minute or two of silence and I just prayed and just, it was kind of hard to keep my mind silent. So that is going to take some practice, but I started with that and just kind of just thinking about the things that I'm grateful for getting into that attitude of gratitude instead of that attitude of, you know, negativity. And then the affirmations, I read this affirmation that basically said, I am capable and deserving of success and I will get it based on my level of commitment to whatever it is I'm trying to succeed at. And so I read that affirmation over and really thought about that and kind of felt it as I was reading it and then visualization so that's kind of just seeing yourself achieving whatever it is that you want to achieve so I visualize myself today doing this podcast two of them because I have to do two for today and then I also visualized myself making some you know those phone calls that you don't really want to make they're important phone calls like you know, just for like personal business for the house or utilities or whatever, all that stuff you don't, that needs to be done. You don't want to do, I have to do that stuff today. And so I visualize myself doing that and getting it over with. And then another thing I visualized myself doing was finishing my yard work. So that's not going to get done today, but it'll get done this weekend. And then because you, when your mind sees it kind of sends these messages to your brain that it, it actually happened. And so we used to call it mental rehearsing in Weight Watchers. It really works, try it. And then I read a little bit in the journal that I'm writing in. It kind of explains to you how to, to use it. It's called the five minute journal. I'll show, it, I'll show it again when I really talk about this topic in depth. And so I read some of the information that goes along with that. And then I wrote down my things that I want, good things I wanna see happen today, things that I will probably that may present problems and things that I'm grateful for. So, and then I went out and did like a killer 90 minute workout 
in my home gym and it was upper body. It was a good one. I was really proud of myself for the programming that I did for that workout today. Um, it was kind of, it, I was, I was spent by the, by the time it was done. So it's been a really good morning. I did all that. Plus I balanced my checkbook to two loads of laundry, showered and I'm doing this podcast. So I do feel really good and it is very important to invest time in your personal development. So whatever you invest in yourself is typically what you're going to get out of yourself. So if you really invest no time in yourself, you're going to get nothing out of yourself. So just make that connection right now. And um, we will be doing, so I want you to start thinking about this. I'm planting the seed right now. We are going to be doing a success challenge between Halloween and Thanksgiving. And it is going to incorporate some of these lifesavers plus some other things that I think are really important for us to be focused on in order to set ourselves up for New Year's resolution season. I have so much to say about New Year's resolution that I'm going to keep to myself right now, but you have to stay tuned because I don't ever want you to make another New Year's resolution again. They're stupid. But anyway, so comment on this video here on YouTube or on the live video that I'll, that will introduce this video uh, on Facebook if you're interested in in that success challenge. So if that's something that you would be interested in doing along with me and then other members of our real life community, let me know because if there's no interest, I'm not doing it. I'll do it for myself, but I, I think you guys will really benefit for it from it. So today's topic is relating to the R in real or relationships and how you relate to others. So today we're talking about, are you a lighthouse or a towboat? Now back on September 8th, we talked about, do you surround yourself with people who are vacuums or chargers? So the, the top five people you spend the most time with, do they suck the energy out of you like a vacuum or do they charge you up like a phone charger or, or a device charger? And so today we're kind of, making the analogy between a lighthouse and a towboat as to how you relate with other people. And so let me kind of explain that theory. Are you a lighthouse? Do you guide people in the right direction by shining brightly? You know, a lighthouse has the huge bright light that you can see from everywhere. And it's saying, come this way. This is where you need to go. This is, this is the way. So <clears throat> are you a lighthouse? Do you guide people in the right direction by shining brightly? Do you show people the way? And think about a lighthouse. It's stationary. It stays right where it is. It never moves. It stands firm. It knows what its purpose is. Its purpose is to stand there and, and be seen, show people the way. And in turn, it helps people. It guides people in the right direction. That is the sole purpose of the lighthouse. Come this way. Follow me. This is the right way. So are you a lighthouse or are you a towboat? Do you pull people to safety and use up your own energy in the process? You know, you have to attach yourself to them. You have to tow them along. You have to pull them. It gets tiring. It wears you out and you wear yourself out trying to save whoever or whatever it is that you're attached to. So are you that towboat that is kind of using up yourself in order to try to save someone or to show them the way or to take them to safety? So you've heard that saying probably, give a man a fish and he'll eat for a day, but teach a man to fish and he'll eat for a lifetime. That's kind of today's message. We must teach or lead or show by example. We must do and have others follow. When we are a role model for living out our purpose, especially for the ones that we love most, for these relationships that we're talking about, the ones that we wanna nurture, create and nurture, when we're a role model, and we do the things that we think other people should do, they're gonna follow suit. They're gonna do the same thing. I mean, think about it, especially if you're a parent. I think about this one mostly with my kids. 
you know, instead of just giving them money, should you teach them about money, how to spend money, how to save money, how to earn money, you know, and also that money is not the most important thing out there. So, or whatever lessons that it is you're trying to teach your children, you, they learn through experience, but they have to be, I think, motivated by you, their role model. So we have to teach by example. We must shine so much light that we attract everyone in our direction. And we say, and they say, we want to go where she's going. We want to do what she's doing. It is working for her. And if she can do it, I want to, I want to do that too. So you have to be that light, lighthouse. We have to stop being that towboat and trying to pull people or force those that are not ready for change. Because as soon as we're too tired to keep going, if we're the ones pulling them along, as soon as we're too tired to keep going, they're going to stop moving forward and either stay where they're at or turn around. I used to see that all the time in Weight Watchers. I used to have, you know, wives, sorry, I'm calling you guys out right now. It was typically the wives that were like, I'm trying to get my husband in here, but he just doesn't want to come and he needs to lose weight and blah, 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 blah. Honey, he's not going to come until he's ready. So you can't pull him along with you. You have to do what you have to do for you. And then hopefully he'll follow suit. Okay. So when we, we live our most authentic real life, our loved ones will be able to see because of us, because of our light. Okay. So we must be the change we want to see in the world. You've heard that quote before. Love that quote. It's a great quote. Maybe overused, but true. Okay. So we must be the change we want to see in the world, which means we must be the best, most authentic version of ourselves in order to pave a path for others to follow. So that is today's message. It's kind of short and sweet. Become a lighthouse for all of those you love, for all of those that are important to you. Live your purpose. Shine brightly. Show the way. Be the example. Lead. Be a leader. Okay so that you can take everybody that you love along with you, that they'll come along with you, okay? And then you have to ask yourself this question. Are you being towed by someone? Is someone being a towboat for you? Is there someone out there that is constantly trying to help you be the, you know, be the best that you can be, be the best version of yourself, but as soon as they turn their back, you turn around and stop? If they're not helping you out, if they're not pulling you along, then you're not going to do anything to help yourself. Are you using up someone's energy because you always expect them to help you instead of helping yourself? Ask yourself that question and be honest. And if the answer is yes, there's someone that's pulling me along, help them out. Help them by helping yourself because they love you so much that they want you to come and they're willing to use up themselves in order to do it. But you need to love yourself enough and love them enough to start following their light as opposed to using them up. So that's what I want today's action steps to be for you. Number one, if you're being towed by someone, start moving forward on your own. And also stay firm in your conviction to succeed. That's your action today. Stand firm like a lighthouse. Be a lighthouse. Shine brightly. Live your purpose. Live this real life. Have conviction that you will succeed and you will show others how to do the same thing. And as always, like, follow, share, and subscribe and tune in tomorrow. Tomorrow we are talking about muscle versus fat. So we're talking about the E in real, the eating and exercise, muscle versus fat. That's always a good one, so don't miss it. Have a wonderful day. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you all for tuning in and following me on my path as I try to shine as bright as I can. It is, it, it really, it means, the, it means the world to me. I'm so, so grateful for that. Have a great day. Enjoy yourselves. Live your real life. See you tomorrow. Peace.